In this video I'm going to show you how to set up your WooCommerce site in a way that it can be used only for requesting a quotes. As you see there is a add to inquiry button, if I open it up, there is the same button here. I add the product to the inquiry, as you also see no prices are displayed here or there. I can directly go to the cart, remove the products if needed and request a quote. All the information is displayed on a thank you page and the same information will be delivered to your email address. So if you're interested how to set it up then jump in because it's really easy and it's gonna take only a couple of minutes. Now a couple of things I need to point out. First, all the snippets I'm gonna show you today, take a look at the description of this video, there is a link to the blog post that contains all the code. And second one, you can add all those snippets into your child teams functioned PHP file, or you can go to the plugins, add new, search for code snippets, this one here, install and activate it. This one allows you to add all the codes to the site, and you don't have to worry whether the snippets are active in case you change your teams. So code snippet is a, another option, but there is also a third option and this one is WP Codebox. This is my favorite code snippet manager. This one is a premium plugin, but it allows me to save my snippets to the cloud. I can choose what kind of snippet I add here. I can choose the condition. For example, if I add the snippet, I can add the condition to show it only for specific product categories for example if I add a snippet this one works only on accessories product category pages previously I have made a Toro review video about the WP code box the link to this video is in the description of this video one more thing as I said it's a premium plugin but if you take a look at the description of this video there is a nice 20% discount coupon for you in this video I'm going to use code snippets plugin so I installed it and activated it. Now I'm gonna go to the snippets and add new. Next give it the title, for example, WooCommerce request and quote and product catalog, whatever it is. First thing we have to do is we're gonna hide product prices. So this snippet goes here. Let's test it out. Choose only run on site front end, save changes and activate. And let's open the site up. As you see, no prices here, single products, variable products, and if I open it up, so far so good, no prices here. Next I'm gonna change the add to cart text here, and instead of it I'm gonna rename it to add to inquiry. So paste this snippet here, as you see all the snippets are commented here, you'll see what's what, and replace your text. This is the original text and this is the text I'm gonna add to it, so add to inquiry, Save changes, refresh, as you see text has been changed and it has been changed also here. For variable products it still select options, but if you choose your attributes, you'll see that the add to inquiry button is here. Now let's add something to the inquiry. Now let's take a look at the cart page. And as you see there is something I need to tweak that is, is currently there is no need for the cart page. I need my customer to be redirected directly to the checkout page. Therefore, I'm gonna go back to my snippets and I'm gonna paste this snippet here. I'm gonna save changes. If I click on view cart page, I'm gonna be redirected to the checkout page, this one here. And as you see, now there are a bunch of issues here. First, I don't need any shipping options to be activated, therefore, I'm gonna go back to the WooCommerce settings, shipping, and I'm gonna disable all the shipping options and I'm gonna leave only local pickup. I'm gonna do the same for all the shipping zones and if this is done I'm gonna refresh it and there is only a local pickup selection here. Later I'm gonna show you how how I'm gonna remove this row along with the prices because I don't want any prices to be displayed. Next I need to disable all the payment gateways here therefore I'm gonna go back to the snippets, open up my snippets here and paste this part. This small piece of code will disable all the payment gateways. 
Let's test it. Refresh. Done. Next, there are a bunch of checkout fields I need to remove because I don't need the street address and so on. I only need a name, phone and email. So let's fix it. I'm gonna paste this snippet here and a couple of explanations. Those are the fields I'm gonna remove. Those I'm gonna leave here as a reference to you. So I'm gonna leave first name, last name. I'm gonna leave the company, maybe also a country if needed. And phone and email. I'm gonna remove state, city and address fields. So let's test it out. I'm gonna save it, refresh it, and you'll see there is only first last name, company, country, phone, email, and all the notes. Now how to remove this ship to a different address part here because I don't need this one also. Easy to fix, go to the WooCommerce and settings, shipping, shipping options, and force shipping to the customer billing address. Save changes, refresh, and this one here is removed. Next fix I need to do, this place order. I need to rename it. I want it to be request a quote, therefore back to the snippets. And let's copy this line here. Paste it down below here. And change this part. Original string is place order and I'm gonna replace it with request a quote. Save changes, refresh and done. Next one, since I'm gonna skip the cart page, I need my customers to be able to remove products on the checkout page. So back to the snippets, paste this part here, save changes, refresh, and there it is, remove item. Now take a look at what happens. If I click here, I will be redirected to the cart page. This once again wants to redirect me to the checkout page but since it's empty and then you'll see this problem here let's fix it that means we're gonna redirect empty cart to the shop page paste this snippet here save changes refresh and done one more time let's test it out go to the checkout let's remove it and now we're redirected to the shop page so, almost there. Couple of other things to do. First things first, I'm going to remove the price from here, from here, from here, and the shipping part here. And I'm going to do it with the help of the custom CSS. So, go to the customizer, open up additional CSS, and pay attention that this part depends on your team, maybe your team uses its own classes or styling, so it may not work for you, but if your site uses default WooCommerce styling, then it should work. So let's see whether it works. I'm going to paste this piece of code here. And as you see, I'm going to remove it for a second. There is a subtotal prices, subtotal here, shipping and total rows. If I paste it here, it's going to be removed. And if you go to the thank you page, then you'll see that all the prices are removed is this page also. Now a couple of things for us to fix. First, as you see, there is a multiplier here and subtotal row here. Since I'm using the Bloxy team, then this part depends on my team. But I would like to remove it nevertheless. So I'm going to tweak my snippet a bit. Publish. Refresh. Open it up. No multiplier and subtotal row here. Back to the checkout. And it works like a charm. So this way you can customize with the CSS everything you need. Two small things for me to do. First I'm going to remove this coupon part here. That means I'm going to go to the WooCommerce settings and disable the coupon codes. Refresh and it's gone. And last one, if someone places the order, then the order confirmation will be sent to this person. 
I don't need this confirmation to be sent because I can't remove prices from the emails. So instead I'm going to go to the WooCommerce settings, emails, and I'm going to disable this on hold order here. Also, I'm going to disable the processing order email and completed order email. Now I'm going to go to the shop page and let's test it out. Go to the checkout, request a quote. And if I open up my email, then, it, then there is only one email. And this is the email from the shop owner that is for me. Easy peasy. So as you saw, setting up the WooCommerce request and quote catalog is really simple. You can just grab all the code and add it to your snippets. All the comments are here. Tweak it as you like, save changes and you're good to go. Now before you go, wait. If you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up this one here and take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.